What's going on everybody? It's Lego Dragon back again today. And today we are doing a review of the United States Capitol Building Lego Architecture set. Now the reason I got this set was when I was with a school trip for DC, which a lot of you probably were too because a lot of you are in my grade. Um, so I was interested in this set because they had a Lego store at the Pentagon City Mall. And they have the set in it. And I didn't buy it there, but pretty much right when I got home, I ordered this thing off of Amazon and built it over two days, three, two or three days. It was a relatively fun build, but I don't know. I wasn't extremely motivated to build it. I don't know why. Usually when I get a big set, I build it all in one day. I guess I was just really tired from the trip and everything. But yeah, we have it here right now and we're going to review it. So, I uh, don't have the set number, but this thing is about $110, and I think it's well worth it. It looks great on display. I have a shelf worth my, um, my other kind of display sets. This is my uh, Lego Architecture Sydney, Australia, and my T-Posing George Washington I also got in DC, which I have a review for on my channel. And sorry if it sounded like I was shouting. I don't know if my mic would pick it up right or not. But anyway, so we're going to look at this thing. So starting from the front, you get this nice detail. All of these, there's like a hundred or so of these. Let me get the manual real quick. It's right here. Um, in the manual, it says that there is about 178 of these little guys right here and those make up all of these detailings in here and all of these around the sides and everything and I think it's a great use of parts because like they're not used super I mean they're they're a decently common part but they haven't been used in that way they're usually meant for connecting things so yeah then you got the nice steps leading up to here. You got this printed tile right here. This is not a sticker. It says, uh, United States Capitol Building. This is really sturdy. Um, it's built, uh, well, except for that part, but I'll get to that. Um, there are six plates with a connecting thing right here in the center. That makes this. And as you probably saw, I'm assuming you saw if you're paying attention, this comes off. This beautiful dome structure, and that has a micro, a nano fig, on the top, and then on the inside, you have the uh, hall of statues, uh, which are near the giant dome. So you got the um, eight statues in here. So you have eight statues in here, and the uh, Instructions, I can't remember how they t make you line it up, but I it doesn't really matter. I just lined them up like that because it looks kind of cool. Um, you get this tile floor in here. This is one thing I don't really like because it doesn't line up properly. Unless you're like really careful with it, but I mean you're not going to see it if you have this on and it's on display in your shelf. And whatever, that's not the right way. It goes on this way. So, yeah, that's that part of the set. And then these things on both sides open up for some reason. I don't know why. But I like the use of the, uh, sort of the, um, what color is that? Saint sea green type of color. Then down here you got sort of the uh, shrubbery in the courtyard. And then these little things by the windows. And it just looks pretty cool. So, yeah. And then around the back, you can see not too much. To, there's not too much to see. You can see sort of the back area of the court. Or, I mean, the, uh, hall, statue of halls, this needs to press down right. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Oh, wait, they don't need to press down properly, because they aren't uh, supposed to go in properly. But then you have these nice things. Th these look kind of cool. I just like the look of a big wall. But, like, you got, uh, these things on the end. That kind of poking out. It's not the best angle. I'd say it's obviously best to display it like this. And I'll show you how I display it right now. So right here, this is how I display it. Right here, pressed against the wall. There's pretty dusty. I should probably dust. I'm going to do something with that later. 
but I just display it up here so when I'm sitting at my desk, I can, I'm just here doing whatever, and then, oh, there's a sauce packet there, I should probably clean that up. Eek. But I can just look up here, and you got it right there, and it looks really cool. So, yeah, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys later.